Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. What's up, guys? Lou here, and I've got more cool stuff to show you here on the show floor at CES 2013. What you're checking out right now is a transparent 3D LED display. Now, you may recall I did show you a transparent display last year at CES 2012. This year, this one adds 3D functionality, but it still remains to be seen exactly how one might use these things in real life, in the real world. As you can see here, you have a model that sits behind the screen and then it becomes superimposed on the image when staring at it from the front. Since this one is 3D, it does require that you wear glasses, which might also make it more difficult to understand exactly how this thing would be used in real life they're suggesting that you could use it for real estate demos window ads or showcases so maybe in the future some kind of interactive advertisement might utilize functions or features like this but it seems like that might be hard because of the fact that you've got to wear those glasses now Hisense was showing off some more practical stuff like this 84 inch ultra HD LED TV and as you guys know ultra HD or maybe you don't know but a lot of manufacturers are using ultra HD as their terminology to to say 4k instead of using the term 4k i'm not 100 percent sure why but it's basically the same thing you're getting 8 million pixels the exact same resolution as 4k but the manufacturers want to call it ultra hd something else i noticed walking around the show floor is that most of these ultra hd televisions or 4k televisions are a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than their 1080p counterparts that's not really a major trade-off when you consider all those extra pixels you're getting Hisense also showed off this 110-inch uh, UHD LED TV. See, I'm not, I'm not loving that terminology. I prefer 4K personally. But they also showed off this 110-inch version, and they're claiming it's the world's largest 4K television. But as you may or may not have heard, Samsung also released, released a 110-inch version. So it's probably not the world's largest, or at least it's in a tie. There seem to be a couple of manufacturers at this particular form factor right now with UHD TVs. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now for complete coverage from CES 2013. Powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES.